A voluntary group or union also sometimes called a voluntary organization, common interest association, association, or society is a group of individuals who enter into an agreement, usually as volunteers, to form a body or organization to accomplish a purpose. Common examples include trade associations, trade unions, learned societies, professional associations, and environmental groups. Membership is not necessarily voluntary, in order for particular associations to function correctly they might need to be mandatory or at least strongly encouraged, as is common with many teachers' unions in the U.S. Because of this, some people use the term common interest association to describe groups which form out of a common interest. Although this term is not widely used or understood, voluntary associations may be incorporated or unincorporated. For example, in the U.S., unions gained additional powers by incorporating. In the UK, the terms voluntary association or voluntary organization cover every type of group from a small local residences association to large associations often registered charities with multi-million pound turnover that run large-scale business operations often providing some kind of public service as subcontractors to government departments or local authorities. Topic: <laughs> Differences by jurisdictions. In many jurisdictions no formalities are necessary to start an association. In some jurisdictions, there is a minimum for the number of persons starting an association. Some jurisdictions require that the association register with the police or other official body to inform the public of the association's existence. This could be a tool of political control or intimidation, and also a way of protecting the economy from fraud. In many such jurisdictions, only a registered association or in the UK an incorporated body is a juristic person whose members are not responsible for the financial acts of the association. Any group of persons may, of course, work as an informal association, but in such cases, each person making a transaction in the name of the association takes responsibility for that transaction, just as if it were that individual's personal transaction. There are many countries where the formation of truly independent voluntary associations is effectively proscribed by law or where they are theoretically legally permitted, but in practice are persecuted, for example, where membership brings unwelcome attention from police or other state agencies. History Voluntary groups are a broad and original form of non-profit organizations, and have existed since ancient history. In ancient Greece, for example, there were various organizations ranging from elite clubs of wealthy men to private religious or professional associations. In pre industrial societies, governmental administrative duties were often handled by voluntary associations such as guilds. In medieval Europe, guilds often controlled towns. Merchant guilds enforced contracts through embargoes and sanctions on their members, and also adjudicated disputes. However, by the 1800s, merchant guilds had largely disappeared. Economic historians have debated the precise role that merchant guilds played in premodern society and economic growth. In the United Kingdom, craft guilds were more successful than merchant guilds and formed livery companies which exerted significant influence on society. Legal status A standard definition of an unincorporated association was given by Lord Justice Lawton in the English Trust Law case Conservative and Unionist Central Office v. Burrell 1981. Unincorporated association means two or more persons bound together for one or more common purposes, not being business purposes, by mutual undertakings, each having mutual duties and obligations, in an organization which has rules which identify in whom control of it and its funds rests and upon what terms and which can be joined or left at will. In most countries, an unincorporated association does not have separate legal personality, and few members of the association usually enjoy limited liability. However, in some countries they are treated as having separate legal personality for tax purposes. However, because of their lack of legal personality, legacies to unincorporated associations are sometimes subject to general common law prohibitions against purpose trusts. Associations that are organized for profit or financial gain are usually called partnerships. A special kind of partnership is a cooperative which is usually founded on one person, 
one vote principle and distributes its profits according to the amount of goods produced or bought by the members. Associations may take the form of a non profit organization or they may be not for profit corporations. This does not mean that the association cannot make benefits from its activity, but all the benefits must be reinvested. Most associations have some kind of document or documents that regulate the way in which the body meets and operates. Such an instrument is often called the organization's bylaws, constitution, regulations, or agreement of association. Common law England and Wales Under English law, an unincorporated association consists of two or more members bound by the rules of a society which has at some point in time, been founded. Several theories have been proposed as to the way that such associations hold rights. A transfer may be considered to have been made to the association's members directly as joint tenants or tenants in common. Alternatively, the funds transferred may be considered to have been under the terms of a private purpose trust. Many purpose trusts fail for want of a beneficiary and this may therefore may result in the gift failing. However, some purpose trusts are valid, and, accordingly, some cases have decided that the rights associated with unincorporated associations are held on this basis. The dominant theory, however, is that the rights are transferred to the members or officers absolutely, perhaps on trust for the members, but are importantly bound by contracts inter se. Accordingly, on dissolution, the distribution of these rights depends on how they were held. A purpose trust may by its nature survive the dissolution of the association, or it may not. If it fails as a result of the dissolution, then the rights will be held on resulting trust for the contributors, unless they can be shown to have renounced their right to such a trust in their favor. If the rights are held subject to contract, then they will be divided among the surviving membership upon dissolution, according to the terms of the contract's inter se or an implied term according to contribution. If, as a result of this contract or statute, no member can claim, the rights will pass to the Crown as bona vacantia. This conclusion has also been suggested where the association dissolves because only one member remains, although this has been doubted by some commentators who believe the last members should be entitled to the rights. Scotland Scottish law on unincorporated associations is essentially the same as English law. <inaudible> United States Each state sets its own laws as to what constitutes an unincorporated association and how it is to be treated under the laws. In the United States, voluntary associations which were incorporated were preeminent in collective action. In California, during the 1980s, then Los Angeles County District Attorney Ira Reiner decided to use California's unincorporated associations law to attack street gangs and the habit of their members of tagging graffiti in public spaces, in an attempt to abate vandalism and to recover cleanup costs. He sued the street gangs by name, with cases titled such as City of Los Angeles v. The Bloods and City of Los Angeles v. The Crips, which then allowed the city to go after any member of the street gang, as a member of the unincorporated association being sued, for damages resulting from graffiti tagging involving that gang's name. In Texas, state law has statutes concerning unincorporated nonprofit associations that allow unincorporated associations that meet certain criteria to operate as entities independent of their members, with the right to own property, make contracts, sue and be sued, with limited liability for their officers and members. New York state law regarding unincorporated associations actually gives members of the association more protection against liability than that given to either stockholders of corporations or members of limited liability companies. This was noted in the case of the Associated Press Organization, because the members of the AP are not liable for damages for the organization's actions unless the association as a whole approved it. Australia In most Australian states and territories, a similar set of laws allows not-for-profit associations to become legal entities with a limit to the liability of their members. 
An example of such a law, the Associations Incorporation Act that is in force in South Australia, allows for the creation of a legal entity able to buy and sell land and in general, enter into legally binding contracts. Many clubs and societies begin life as an unincorporated body and seek to attain incorporated status to protect its members from legal liability and in many cases to seek government financial assistance only available to an incorporated body. Clubs and societies wishing to incorporate must meet the provisions of the relevant state act and lodge their constitution with the corresponding state government authority. Topic: <laughs> Civil law Certain civil law systems classify an association as a special form of contractual relationship. Topic: <inaudible> Canada. Under the Quebec Civil Code, an association is categorized as a type of statutory specific contract set forth in a constitution. An association can become incorporated with its own legal identity so that it may, e.g., open a bank account, enter into contracts, rent real estate, hire employees, take out an insurance policy, or sue or be sued. France In France, all voluntary associations are non-profit. They may count as unincorporated association non or incorporated association déclaré, and are created in terms of and governed by the Waldeck-Rousseau Act 1901. This is why Association LOI de 1901 is subjoined to their name, except in Alsace-Moselle area which is governed by local law in this regard the area was German in 1901 and are therefore called Association LOI de 1908. If the association responding to defined criteria, like social or medical help for example, they can be declared public utility association, association d'utilité publique by French authorities. Associations Act 1901 let an important large of freedom about internal operation, like direction or authorized members for example. Germany The German Civil Code sets out different rights and rules for an unincorporated association with legal identity Verein, Art. 21-79 BGB versus an incorporated association with full legal personality, which the law treats as partnerships Gesellschaften, Art. 705-740 BGB. Associations can be for profit or Schaftlicher Verein, non for profit Ideal Verein, or public Gemenutziger Verein. Topic: <inaudible> Israel. In Israel, many non-profit organizations (NPOs) and non-governmental organizations (NGOs) are established as registered non-profit associations (Hebrew Amuda, plural Amuto). Some are established as public benefit companies (Hebrew Shevra Letolit Hatziber, not to be confused with public benefit corporations. Amuto are regulated by the association's law, 1980. An Amuda is a body corporate, though not a company. The Amuda is successor to the Ottoman society which predated the State of Israel, and was established by the now superseded Ottoman Society's Law of 1909, based on the French Law of 1901. An Amuda must register with the Rasham HaAmuto Registrar of Amuto, under the purview of the Rashad Hatajidim Corporations Authority of the Ministry of Justice. <laughs> Freedom of Association The freedom of association stands in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Article 11 of the European Convention on Human Rights also protects the right to freedom of assembly and association. Topic: See also. Active citizenship. Anarchism. Club. Collective. Cooperative. Eingetrigener Verein Not-for-profit arts organization Rekisteroite Yhdistis Society Swiss Verein Unincorporated associations in English law Voluntarism 
Associations Incorporation Act 1981 Victoria Encyclopedia of Associations equals equals notes <laughs>